Yibby. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no, I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I love Monica's voice. Yeah, enjoy it while last. The fact that he would dare even put us on this at all. I'll fight him. What? It's basically from Melody at this point, but once again, you're totally correct! The black in this time the tree killer devised the whole stinking scheme was <laughs> Celestia Winnipeg, or more precisely, Taikawa Yasuhiro. So, two things before we continue. Yeah. One, um, I completely forgot, but like three years ago, I learned that her last name was actually Yasuhiro. This okay. was years ago, like 2017, 16, maybe. So three or four years ago. I completely forgot about that until this was brought back up here. And like, we were doing the e-handbook thing. And I was like, oh, wait, I think I, oh, right. <laughs> um, in addition to that, um, there was something else. I don't remember. I'll, I'll just keep going on. Honestly. Oh, you need to read. Um. Yeah. You can change the voice now. Yeah, I was gonna. I have it in parentheses. Redneck. Normal voice later. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. She's gonna be more regular the voice because she's gonna be around for like five minutes. Yeah. Kafumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I remember what it was. You know what, how she could have got away with this? By drugging Not working Yasuhiro. with Kafumi. By drugging Yasuhiro and killing him, and then going back to her and pretending like it never happened. How would how would anyone have proved it was her? If it hadn't been this yeah. complicated. The issue is, that's the problem. Everything's so complicated, just stab a bitch in the hallway and leave. No one will know it was you. If there ain't any cameras around and you make sure they die, and you get I mean, rid of the cameras, fucking but weapon. The cameras don't matter. I mean, yeah, Monokuma is the only one that gets to see him, though. So, like, just make sure. Just stab a bitch in the hallway, leave. Bunzo. But like, y'all gotta be that... extra with it. Yeah, it, it's really not this hard. People are not thinking about it correctly. It's not like we Also, can check a lot DNA of people really don't like this this trial specifically. A lot of people say it's the worst one in this game. Because of how complicated and stupid it is. But I think, for the most part... Celeste's part of the plan was foolproof. It worked entirely as it was intended to, and it worked very well. The reason that the plan failed was because Hifumi was the accomplice, and Hifumi is a fucking idiot. His so, weeb ass, he's the one who got to pick the Robo Justice design, by the way, of fucking course. She just told him to pick a costume, and his dumb ass was like, all right, I got you. Like, he's the reason that the plan was ruined. Yeah, to be fair, though, she chose him. And that was a poor decision. I mean, he was the easiest oh one to manipulate. Yeah, but he, she didn't need accomplice. She could literally have just drugged Hif uh, Yasuhiro or Hifumi, really, and killed either of them. Now you know. Oh, shit, that's so me. Sorry. Mm-hmm. So, you really did approach Hifumi with this plan? But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. Hmm. I'm sure she relied on her specialty. Lying. <laughs> My specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. So then. Then why did you use, you know? Then did use. Yeah. <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Hifumi to act as my accomplice? Indeed. I used her. For everyone who's still left. I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... It was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. 
Does that mean... Is she talking about Alter Ego? Say what? 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 What are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Wrong one. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I'm totally on the loop as usual. How sad. In other words. Then you're the one that's struggling? That's right. I see. Um, and you what? used it to drag Kafumi. Well, Sorry. Um, okay, I guess I, hit, I guess Blair hit the right bumper when she was hopping off my lap, so just started skipping forward. And you used it to drag Kafumi into the plan you'd come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um... Actually... Oh, what are you doing here? So this would be your... I was, uh, voice. hoping to talk to you. Alone. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. Yeah! What? So then. And I have proof. Would you like to see? As it turned out, I found a use for the digital. No, that's yours. Yeah, I mean, d I'll read. As all it turned text. out, I'd found a use for the digital camera. Why not? I mean, well, it's her talking out of the flashback. It, it's fine. I'd taken you know what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it. There. I deleted the picture as soon as I'd shown it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation! Girl, so it was him! But how'd he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. You are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? As for me... Please forgive me. He... He threatened me. Oh. Um... He did? He threatened to reveal your last name, probably. As for me... He came to my room last night unannounced. And then it's even hard for... It's hard for even me to say. He abused me. What? And he... He took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. If him is an idiot yeah. for believing any of this, yeah, it's Celeste, and it's Taka. Also, she, didn't she deadass just say she didn't have to lie to him to get him to agree? Yeah. Except, what are you doing right now, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Lying. She's so a liar. So I had no choice. Damnation! I mean, but she's telling us this, so she's informing us that she just lied to us about lying to him. Yeah, but she I had know, to whatever. lie all of a sudden, because it's probably second nature to her at this point. That's a crime! An absolute crime! Well, yes. He, I mean, I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but what? I never imagined he would go that far! <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. I can't express how enjoyable that was. <laughs> he sounds so happy. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. I'm gonna kill him. I'm, I'm going to fucking kill him. He said a bad word. Put a coin in the swear jar. White, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Yeah, he might do the same to you and take pictures. <laughs> Sir. Huh? Taka's planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. His what? target. Escape, you don't mean. <sighs> Talk is going to try to kill you. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yes, that would be Also, he can keep her to himself. Yeah, okay. That yes, bastard. Bastard, 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 bastard! Honestly. Can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not! How could I? She... I she... swear! I will save her! I thought you said we'd have to hear this again. I have to save her! I said he won't react to something like it's normal and then overreact afterward, which is not that. He's overreacting oh, okay. this entire I, I misunderstood you. Then, would you like to join with me? 
It just so happens I have a plan with, uh, I've come up with a plan. <laughs> I've devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Uh huh? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Hifumi agreed without a second thought. The effect that item had on him was quite remarkable. The power of love. Even a love as twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um, you disgust me. I see. You're one to talk, Hagakure. I have another question You haven't question murdered anybody, you. but you're still horrible. Was that strange costume Hifumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt, too. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. <sighs> All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. And yet, within like five hours, he managed to make that convoluted thing. Yeah. That's impressive. I had no idea he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So why did you decide to make me the suspect? <sighs> Because you're stupid. That's it? Let's see. And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. I feel like I could cry. Well. But when you were explaining your plan to Hifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you'd actually let him live? Are you okay with this? That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, when someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. And he really believed that? Of course. He's stupid. I mean, yeah, we've seen what else he believed, Owie. This is nothing different. Well, of course. Uh, there, that wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi so nobody could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. Hmm. It all seems very straightforward. Stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly, right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... So you had planned to kill him all along? <laughs> but of course. There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How can human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Stop that. Go. Sorry. Give me a moment. Blair, go. Don't be mean! <laughs> you sound like Biakia. I wonder about that. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then what made you take things so far? What the heck? Was it really just for money? Hmm. Are you talking about the $10 million Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. But... How long have you been saying how we have to accept living here? You little bitch! <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> Obviously that was a lie! <laughs> I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. You little bitch. I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. 
And do you want to know why? Huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. There's a really a good day. Disney song that we could break into right now. And but, you know. I only had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was that dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. Bitch killed people for a castle. Yeah, she is a queen. Fair. She is a queen. <laughs> yeah. That is that is actual European royalty right there. A castle? I mean, I'm gonna spoil something, Gabe. Hold on. In a second, <laughs> she's gonna say that she hopes to be um, reincarnated as someone. Can you guess who? No. Very famous queen. Very famous queen. queen. Elizabeth? No. She was not queen for very long. I, I'm not sure. You'll see. Okay. And to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. That sounds familiar. Weren't we on that rank? Yes. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need mood, bitch. Fucking mood. You fucking perverts. Yeah. <sighs> Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfect aesthetic world of decadence. This is fine. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about! <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... There is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Hey, can I have that money that you've been saving up? <laughs> I mean, you're not going to need it, so like, you want to have a little bit around? Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all that there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus... How can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? She's been here before. Not literally here before, but to the point where she was about to die. Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people, I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared. Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated... If I had a choice, then... Isn't it wonderful? I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. I don't remember who that is. It's the lady who said let them eat cake and then they killed her. Mm, right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. She was queen for, like, fucking three months before she died. You just get executed again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Celeste smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings. But that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. Kills, chills, kills. You all done? Okay, then let's get rolling. The black and disturb the peace and must pay the price. I prepared a very special punishment for her, the ultimate gambler. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. 
What? Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then... Take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again. In another life. Yeah, my next Bye game bitch. when my voice actor is reused. I don't know if they reuse a whole lot of people in the second one. I know it's mainly the third one that they reuse. Okay, the third game from then. The Fine. Second and the first. Also, I don't believe her voice actor is one of the repeats. Okay, well, I tried. So, yeah. I know Hagakure is. Leon oh, this is. is fitting. This is yeah. very fitting. The burning of the Versailles switch. Oh my god, you too! Every person I've watched say that name pronounces it horribly. It's French, it's Versailles. The Versailles Treaty. The Versailles. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, well, um, I would have, if I had actually had time to read it and realize it was on screen, I would have said Versailles. Um, it's Versailles. It still would have been wrong, but I didn't, I like, I barely saw it on screen before it was gone. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, there's something on screen. <laughs> Versailles Treaty. Yeah, I don't know what the Versailles anything is. I am i don't know a huge amount about history, sadly. I just enjoy what I do know about it. Versailles Treaty was a um, history thing. Yeah, I, I said. No, I know. I'm just saying. Um, what? I'm trying to remember what exactly it was. This is... I think it was... Yeah, I think it was something <laughs> about Hitler. I think. That's a twist. She ended up hit by a car. Oh, because she wanted to be isekai I got it. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I got it. She got isekai by a bus. Understandable. Okay, no. So the tr the Versailles, uh, the Treaty of Versailles is actually pre-Hitler. It's the treaty that brought World War One to an end. Okay. So it so ended the, the end of the great war between Germany, the Allied powers, Allied powers, Allied powers. Allied, you have no so, right to talk. So real quick, shut up, bitch. Uh, real quick, do you want to hear an explanation of that death? Because there is an actual explanation. So I'm pretty yeah. sure this is correct, but it's that she was a very unique person, as you saw. She liked living her life unique, and she always wanted to be unique. She didn't want to be normal, which is why she hated her original boring ass name. Um, so. Being burned at the stake? That's pretty cool. That's unique. Uh, plot twist, no, she died in a car accident, which is the most common way to die. Yes, I, I, I completely understood that already. But my joke was that she got isekai so she got reincarnated, just like she wanted to. But she gets reincarnated <laughs> as a slime. Hey, hey. <laughs> if you've ever seen that show, that is not a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, for her it would be. She'd fucking hate it. I mean, it's very unique. I mean, There's no one quite like it, you know, Reamer. But also, yes, I just think that's very cool. That I thought that was like, really she's good. Like, yeah, that she's just like, you know, this is fine. This is unique, at least. And then it's like, this boom, is fine. car crash, bitch. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I need... Gabe, Photoshop that up. Good job, future Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but... I also can't deny that at one point I consider her a friend too. I mean, we did get Pause max game? friendship and everything. We did. Uh, actually, there's also an explanation for Mondo's death. Apparently, there's a Japanese children's story that says this kid managed to trick two tigers into running around a tree so fast that they turned into butter, and then him and his family ate them on pancakes. Which is why there are two tigers, like, when you first <laughs> see the wheel. Yeah, I, I, I got that. I, I do get it now because I do remember that death really well. Yeah, um, everyone does. The, the executions are fresh in my mind. I mean, to be fair, Leon's is really simple. It's just a batting cage. And, yeah, they just want to make like, that bitch suffer. Yeah. And also I mean, kill him with baseball. the thing he hated the most. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then Mondo, of course, you know, that thing, which I didn't know about. And I yes. love mythology and different stories. Japanese mythology is a fucking treat, bro. They're bonkers <laughs> over there. So, Japanese, Norse, and Greek would be my three favorites, just because of the amount of weird stories. Like, those guys had some kind of drugs. <laughs> also, the moth is back. But yes. Mothman. <sighs> They're pretty cool. Um, In 2, there are a lot of explanations for deaths. 
that will be interesting. Okay, well, whenever we get to that, you can inform me and I'll be like, neat. Also, so we'll I'm not going to hit the A button yet. Two, one, two hours, 22 minutes, 22 seconds. <laughs> and for okay. him to just come along and... Isn't it just awful? Some Someone couldn't get cut free of the regrets from the outside world, so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young. You need to place more value in your lives. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. geez. In here, I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Let me out of here! What do I care about hope? I'll just sh throw in the trash if you let me out of here. You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but the reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you gonna make keep gonna make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So anyway, Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from hey, Celeste? Hey. So uh, what's the deal with that? Wah -wah. Huh? What's the matter? Wah -wah. I'll answer your question if you answer mine. You. What did you do? What did you do to me? She doesn't have a memory. That's why she's mystery. Got it. Understand. Ooh. What? Okay. Or maybe someone. What did you do to my body? Oh, oh man, oh jeez. Oh man, oh jeez. What do you mean, what did I do? Or maybe she just doesn't look like she's supposed to. That would be weird if I she I mean, there's a stuff. lot of hentai that show what Monokuma did. Hush. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? So, I'm... Uh, I'm guessing based on body, that means that she's not just missing her memory. It might be that she doesn't look like she's supposed to, is what came to my mind. Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of well. here. Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of See course. Ya later. <laughs> See ya! Okay, another fact, Gabriel. Real quick. Hmm? So, this game initially released in 2010, but it didn't get an English dub until 2014. So, yep. obviously, in between those four fucking years, people had fan translated it because it didn't even yes. get a translation in general. So, in the fan translation, Monokuma is named Mono Bear. Yeah, you've mentioned that. No, I haven't. You, me, and Callum spoke about it when we were talking oh. about facts about things that were about about then. Rumpa. I thought you meant here in the video. Oh, I did not. sorry. So now people get to know. Okay, uh, that is completely understandable. Yeah, so the newest game was released in 2017, and the first game was released in 2010. And apparently they released a mobile game? I don't really know what it was about. Uh, but there's well, a I mean, lot of Danganronpa content. I mean, Danganronpa 1's on mobile, and Danganronpa 2 and 3 are about to come out on mobile. Yeah, but it it was even under a different game. I believe like, that. Like, title, I, I mean. Anything about it. Yeah, I believe it. It's, um... Fucking... Where is it? Unlimited Battle. Unlimited Battle It was works. an action video game. No, it was literally mobile, Gabe. It was for cell phones. <laughs> Unlimited Battle works? No. Unlimited budget works, Gabriel. Get it right. Anyway, no. It was only released in Japan for iOS and Android in early 2015 and ceased operations later that year. I have no idea what it was really about, but I guess it doesn't matter because it was a mobile game. Apparently someone's made VR of this. Of the first cool. one. Yeah. For the PlayStation 4, though. And then you have, obviously, the mainline games 1, 2, UDG, and then V3. Because nice. V3 is different than Danganronpa 3. Danganronpa 3 is the second season of the anime. And V3 is sense. the third game. That makes perfect sense. Yes. There is no anime for the second game. There's an anime for this one. 
But then three isn't even about the third game. Three is its own separate story, but also canon. Cool. It's confusing. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although I wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but what's that key that Celeste so... gave you? Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What? Then that means... Hmm. So that's probably hidden in there. Hey. Uh, I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we better go check. Indeed. Also, hey, we're gonna have access to more areas because it's post trial, baby. The only good part about a friend's dying. That there's more supplies for everyone. That uh, I don't have to talk to him about Hifumi or use his voice anymore. That yes. I am about Sadly, to. Sadly, I never get to do Southern Celeste again, but that's fine. I'm about to get to like an observatory or something. I don't know what's gonna be on the third floor or fourth floor, I guess. Assuming it's the fourth floor, not just like a basement or something. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at hey. us and said, I'm going to go on alone. <laughs> I'm going to go on alone from here. Accents are hard. Yeah, no, I understand. Uh, I can't everyone do them. else, head out to the dining hall. I'll check with you later. What? Why? Exactly, you're going alone. So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go, too. What? Hey, go. Blair. Blair, go. She snuck entirely around my desk to come up the backside to try to get to my mic. Hey. Huh. You? Please, let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention Goodbye. to us. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakia. Well, then. Then it's up to you now. Yo! I'm going to go to the dining hall, okay? That's just what you were told to do. Huh? So Makoto uh, and we... Kyoko are gonna go together? <laughs> you pervert. <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? No, you airhead pervert. Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there Shall alone. I mean, she already said it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So then. We need to get in. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Because you were originally using that kind of accent for her. Yeah, I know. We need to get to into that locker. Kyoko took the key Celeste had given her and locked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we saw. <sighs> Look, I forgot about that. Damn it. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> hey, it's fuck been you, a bitch. while, hasn't it? No, I have like two that's voices. Mine. I have like three that's voices. Mine. You have two. Th <laughs> three. I have the person oh, who yeah. one likes, the other person who one likes, and the person everyone should like. I forgot about Makoto. I'm going to be real cheap. I have Nayagi, and then I have two people that, A, don't even talk that much, to be honest, because we don't hang out with them, and... I have four. I don't really like them. Five yeah. with this, I guess. Whatever, have it. It's a guy, <laughs> it's anyway. Been a while, Who cares? Hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe, thank goodness. I never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. No. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please just wait a while longer. 
So now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me, what are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come in here with me? However... Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know? That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like, what happened during the inve investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. Ooh. When you do that... It's... Only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No. I... I believe what? in you. You... Believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to want to that. That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. That's then fine. fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. To the physics lab to use the dimensional thing to try to fix her body, which is phasing out of existence. It's an air purifier, my guy. Shh. Okay. You see... What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believed in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm it, what she told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And then, then we rendezvoused. And when it did, I went into action. I broke the rules. I'm a rebel now. Uh, correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way in the back. She said the way in the back of the boys' storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa, we're going to confirm if she's right or if she's just making us look like a fool and break the rules. We'll figure that out next time. Goodbye.